The main objectives of the Early Career Chief Scientist Training Program is to engage young scientists in the use of UNAL's resources. These are the, the use of the fleet uh, of research vessels uh, throughout, throughout this nation. Here at Moss Landing Marine Labs, we are running a series of three cruises, three programs. Each one is six days long. We have seven or eight participants for each program with a workshop for about a day and then sort of cruise planning, cruise prep on board the ship and then underway on the Wednesday, the third day, for about 72 hours, come back in on Saturday morning and they will conduct a cruise they organized. Uh, it's a little different than a normal proposal in that the eight participants may or may not have worked together before and they all have their own research interests and they, they, they collaborate and combine uh, their interests to put together a cruise plan in the Monterey Bay, uh, central coast of California area. It's important that uh, early career scientists have the confidence necessary to, to lead a program like this. We need more people studying coastal processes, especially in, at a time when the coastal environment is rapidly changing. Uh, we, are, uh, we hear a lot about sea level rise, ocean acidification, uh, warming, things like this. These are affecting ocean systems in a variety of undetermined ways. and. Right now uh, is a critical time for us to understand the impact of, of, of climate change on, uh, on ecosystems and uh, other marine processes. So we really need the next generation of scientists to take these vessels to sea and start solving some of these problems that are going to be important for, for society in our future. This program was started about four years ago by Claire Reimers at Oregon State University after discussions at UNALS about how there seemed to be fewer and fewer early career scientists submitting ship time requests and, and utilizing the facilities uh, coinciding with kind of an overall drop in the number of ship time uh, requests or proposals that requested ship time. This program uh, strives to demystify the use of um, major research facilities and give young investigators the confidence they need to step up and act as uh, chief scientists, submit proposals for performing coastal and oceangra oceanographic work, um, and uh, lead, lead interdisciplinary teams of scientists to see. Well, this program is really useful, first of all, because I have never been a chief scientist and I'm going to need it in my career. And second, because we have like, we are addressing our, a lot of mistakes that we have made. And another really important thing is I have made a lot of friends that probably we could be colleagues in the future. Yes, I would definitely suggest this program to someone else. Um, we go to see a lot as students and as uh, postdocs and work our butts off, but don't necessarily see all the planning and all the stuff behind the scenes that goes on. So not only did I learn how to be a chief scientist, but also how to be a better PI on a cruise. Uh, would I do this program again or would I suggest it for someone else? Absolutely. A lot of times as a postdoc or a PhD student, you participate in cruises, but you never get to see what goes into planning one and all the different operations that you're in charge of as a chief scientist. Uh, yes, it was incredibly useful um, and it's been especially useful to me getting to see the diversity of uh, different science that people are doing out at sea. Um, the opportunity to sail with people who work on very different kinds of science and projects. Uh, my favorite part was getting my very first multi-core and archiving it um, and having something to bring back to do some great science. Well, I think the Chief Scientist in Training program was uh, pretty invaluable. There were a lot of things that I would have 
never considered had I gone into planning my first cruise without this program. So for me, it was invaluable. Uh, my favorite part is yet to happen. We're still looking for my, uh, my drifters, which have been out there for two days. So hopefully in the next two hours, we'll uh, be collecting my data. And so when we collect my data back, and if you get good data, that's always the best part of any cruise. I found this program to be really useful. A lot of times you can uh, go out on cruises, but you're not the person in charge. And so to be able to see kind of behind the scenes to start and plan a cruise from start to finish, I think there's a lot of stuff that you miss if you don't, um, if you don't participate in a cruise like this.